Hello, hello. Welcome back to She's a Busy Girl. I'm Stephanie. And because I was right, I did not have the type of paper that I want to use to finish the canvas book cover, um, the art canvas book cover, we are going to, because I want to make a journal, <laughs> um, we're going to cover this Reader's Digest cover with some, and there's the phone. Hold on. Okay, sorry, that was the boy calling. He apparently needed to test out his new phone, so who better to call as a test than your mommy? Anyhow, where the heck were we? Um, so we're gonna cover this Reader's Digest cover. I have already gutted this one, so it's just a nice cover for us. And I have got this beautiful fall colored tapestry fabric. I absolutely, fall colors are my colors. I just love it. Um, so we are going to use this to cover the book. But first, I wanted to show you guys. So I showed you the empty cover on this one, um, but I did finish it up. So um, had I put, I don't know if I'd put the book corners on um, when I showed it to you last time, but there's the front cover with this beautiful rose image and the little book plate. And then on the back, it is... Uh, it's flannel, so stuff's gonna stick to it. Um, so there is that little um, measuring tape, which I kinda like. And then on the inside, uh, I've just finished it with some patterned paper. Um, and again, I did the, the hollow spine type binding there. Um, and, and I said this one was going to be primarily a writing journal. And so, that is exactly what it is. I did put some vintage magazine paper in and there is some graph paper and some different kind of graph paper. Uh, and this is music. There's music. Um, but as you can see, primarily it is a writing journal. So there is lots and lots and lots of space to write. And I thought with, with pages like this, um, someone could uh, put on a pocket or add some ephemera if they wanted to, like their photos and, and that type of thing, what they might be writing about. There's more of that vintage magazine. Um, vintage magazine. Let's see. Um, here's a little bit of book page. I think I did a few, a few book pages in here, but not... Not a whole lot, like I said, because it was primarily going to be a writing journal. And so there is the back. And yeah, so it is just that, primarily a writing journal. So that is how I finished that book up and I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, and now we can get started on this book cover that we're going to cover. La la la. All right, so this is the front cover. What part of the fabric do I want on the front cover? Is that, that's kind of pretty there. Um, maybe if we scooch it down a little bit, we'll get more of that flourishy leaf thing. Or we can flip it around like so. And what do we got over here? Uh, now that's kind of, is that planar? And it's sort of upside down because I guess that, that is an acorn there. Um, well crud. I kind of want, like, so I know it's horrible to cut out of the center of the fabric, but I want, like, flowers and stuff on it, right? That's kind of the whole point. Okay, now... Is it right side up? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm in troubles today. Okay. All right. It is horrible to cut out of the center of a piece of fabric, but I'm going to do it because I want those flowers. I want that. So I'm going to do it. I'm sorry if it hurts anybody's sensibilities, but I'm going to do it. All right. And besides, I have to use up some of the fabrics that I have because Thursday night on Patty Lang's YouTube channel, uh, Michelle Scott is going to be selling and she 
does these amazing fabric packs, guys. Um, I love her aesthetic in putting them together. I just, I adore them. Um, and so she has already told me via email that she intends to have a bunch this coming Thursday night, which um, I am not, not going to miss. So I need to use up some of the fabrics that I have so I can justify buying more. Oh, for crying out loud, who am I kidding? I don't ever justify buying more. <laughs> I just buy more because it's fun. All right, so let's do uh, the spine. So I'm doing this one just like I did the last one. Um, I'm just gluing it up and I'm being pretty generous with the glue so that we don't have any bubbles or misses or anything like that. And then sticking it down. It, this doesn't have to be super duper hard. It just doesn't. Um, and I don't tend to do things that are super duper hard because what, what the heck fun is that? So um, I just like to smush stuff together. And you know, the fact of the matter is these are junk journals and they are just kind of smushed together. And while I love, love, love when folks do those, um, you know, they're, they're just these gorgeous themed journals and they're perfectly measured and they're perfectly laid out. Those look beautiful. I just can't do it. I just can't. It hurts my brain. It does. Oh, okay, we got a little bit of glue seepage. Nothing too terrible. Again, it kind of adds to that vintage aesthetic, I guess. There we go. I just, I kind of smushed down uh, the ridges in the spine. Let me make sure I'm in frame um, so that I don't, you know, film a whole video of nothing or, or like film a whole video over here. Um, so... <laughs> Anyhow, um, I smushed down the ridges in the spine just so that those take nicely, especially with this thicker fabric. We want it to get in there good. All right, and <clears throat> it kind of got the top of my glue all mooky. All mooky. Let's get that cleaned up so that we don't have mooky glue on everything. Oh, it kind of sucked it back down. Sucked it back down inside too. All right, well, we'll use that up here pretty quick. Okay, turn it back over. And now I am going to, and because this is rattly fabric, look, see how rattly it is? It's, um, it's really fraying. Because it's rattly, I'm going to use um, pinking shears. That's what these are called, yes. I knew I would get it, just had to give my brain a minute. And that, I don't, I don't know how, I just somewhere remember hearing that if you do it with pinking shears or if you do your cuts with pinking shears, um, the fabric doesn't tend to fray as badly. So um, that's what I'm doing. I am doing it so it doesn't fray as badly. Now, in the end, it's not going to matter huge because um, we're gonna cover, this is gonna fold over and we're gonna cover all this stuff up on the inside. So it's it really isn't going to be a humongous deal if there's a little bit of fray and wrap on the inside. I just wanted to possibly head off as much of it as we could. So that is why I am just fighting with these scissors, because good lord, these things are just a tad clunky. All right, I don't know if every pair is like this, but these are these are heavy. So, they're a bit clunky to use, but I, it looks like they are accomplishing the mission. So, that's the important part. All right, one more long side here, and we can get glue in on the inside. I really can't cut and talk. All right, good gracious, ouch. Okay, so 
there is that and I got the flowers on the front cover like I wanted yay me and now we are going to oh shoot I have to miter the corners okay <laughs> these are the things I forget all right oh I don't know if these scissors yeah not gonna cut Ugh. okay my poor poor hands but they do cut good so I guess that's one thing in their favor all right miter the corners and again I am not being really careful because I do intend to put metal book corners on this one as well so um I don't want a whole lot of bulk in the corners but it doesn't matter if they're absolutely perfect either in in my case particularly now if you are not using metal book corners um you're going to want to probably cut quite a bit closer to the corner of the book um and pay <coughs> a whole lot more attention when you are actually um, putting the corners down. Okay, so let's continue and we're going to stay right on my routine and do the long sides first because that's what I do. All right, get glue on there. I really like this fabric, I like the way it's feeling, and I kind of like the way that it's looking on. Um, on the cover it is it is quite thick it is um, but I'm, I'm just liking it okay and this one we're gonna have to hold down a little bit now if you find that your glue is seeping through your fabric the easiest thing to do um, besides make a mess because making a mess is very easy for me uh, is to get some baking paper and put that over top and do all of your rubbing and smooshing with the baking paper because the glue isn't going to stick to that and it is going to protect your hands so that you don't wind up with glue all over your fingertips that then transfers to other stuff you don't want it transferred to. Now, this is not turning out so bad. That's, this is actually working out. All right, cool. Oop. Stand by. Got the got something going on here. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. My husband was out working um, or meeting with some contractors, I guess, for the new house, and he's come in and turned on the TV. So um, I needed to say hey to my husband and um, shut the door so he can watch TV. Okay, next long side because we got that first one squished down good. All right, so apparently I can't glue and talk either. <laughs> At least not today. Maybe other, I know I have other days. I know I've glued and talked. It must, I just must be, I just must be <laughs> not capable today. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm doing, um, I'm doing laundry. I'm, I'm multitasking. So while we are making this book cover, I am also doing laundry. I'm kind of proud of me because laundry is not my favorite. Laundry and grocery shopping, not my favorite. Um, although I have kind of, or Walmart has helped me conquer the whole grocery shopping thing because they have that pickup thing now. Um, so, and I put my craft supplies in with my groceries and I pick those up too. So like, um, Fabri-Tac, yeah, I do. It makes it super de duper pretty easy. Even like yarn and other glues and, um, funny enough, I wanted some sketch paper to go into the canvas, the, um, painting canvas book that we made. And that I've already added to my next Walmart order. So when I need groceries, we'll finish that book. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how that's gonna go all right let's have a look at what we've got so far oh my gosh so pretty I love it I love it I love it oh I like how it feels it just feels good too it just it does mm. okay nice nice hey this is coming along really well Go for the short sides now. All 
All right. And just for fun, let's let's pay attention to the corners this time. Just for fun, just so that we can kind of um let's see. How would I do this if I was really paying attention to the corners? I guess I would smoosh them in and then flip this up. <laughs> yeah, I'm no good at the corners. Uh-uh. Nope. I left too much fabric. Okay. That's, I guess, how I would do it if I was going to pay attention to the corners. Um, and I had paid attention when I was cutting the fabric at the corners so that there wasn't so much of it. But I didn't do that. I didn't. Sorry. On the next one. On the next one, we'll... We'll pay attention to the corners just because I know not everybody is has access to actually I you can get a hundred of these on Amazon so um but if if that's not something you're interested in if it's not a look that you like um we will we'll pay attention to the corners on the next cover just so that um we can um show that too because we should it should be shown right we should show it. And I am going to trim that off because this is really thick fabric. So I think it might even get in the way of my book, my corners. All right. We may actually even need to trim more off than that. But for right now, that's going to do it. And let's get this side. Again, I'm being pretty generous with the glue just because I want it to stick and not come up when I'm least expecting it. All right. This is, I really like this fabric. And again, um, if you watch anything on YouTube this week, tune in on Thursday to Patty Lang. Um, and Michelle is going to be doing her fabric packs and they are just, I just love it. I, I really do enjoy how she puts them together. I mean, she does, uh, three, four, sometimes more coordinating fabrics in smaller amounts, um, that you can use to cover a book like this and not have yardage. Um, because I, my brain just will not make the same thing over and over and over again. And so I really appreciate that they are smaller amounts of fabric um, because for me going to the fabric store and buying a yard of fabric or more is just, that's crazy because I'm never going to use it. I'm not. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Check it out. There is our book cover. I am really, really liking how this one is coming along. Really, really all right, and let's let's put a corner on it just so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And we'll we'll try out a couple of different corner options um, and decide which one we like best. But we know this is our front cover because I wanted those flowers on there specifically. Okay, so here is one corner option, and I like that one. That one's pretty. Let me see. Let me see. Can I bring it up here and show it to you? So that's one corner option. And then the other one is a little bit more of a slimmer profile. Um, and of course they're not smooshed on, but that is the other corner option. So which do we think? I... I don't know. And now we're out of focus. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what I do with the front cover. I'm thinking um, that I'm probably, because I do like this fabric so much, probably just going to put that on there. Um, 
So, no, it didn't help. I still don't know which one I want to use. And I just ordered a hundred more of these off of Amazon, too, and I think it was less than $10. And um, they were Prime, so if you are a Prime member, um, it'll be less than $10 and free shipping. So, and I think I'm just going to put that on the cover because... Um, yeah, I want to see this stuff. I love these colors. So, all right. We have got a good start on our next book. And when we come back, uh, if I have the sketchbook paper, we will put our canvas book together. Uh, if I don't yet, because I may or may not have needed groceries by then, um, we will start getting uh, pages together for this book. And, um, do I have the innards of this book? I don't know. Maybe they're in the kitchen. Um, but yes, my crafts are spread everywhere in my house. I have a house. I have a craft house, not a craft room. Um, but we'll, we'll have to figure out what sides the pages need to be and we'll start putting those together. And I think we'll do three pretty good sized signatures. Um, cause this looks like, how big is the spine? Oh, maybe we'll do... I think it's like an inch and a half and an eighth, maybe. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I usually measure the book guts. Okay, it's like an inch and three quarters, um, but I'll make it a little bit smaller so that it fits inside the spine nicely. Um, but otherwise, yeah, there is our book cover. I'm liking it. I like it, I like it. Ooh, I love this fabric. Okay, I'm gonna quit um, petting my book cover and let you guys actually go enjoy the rest of your day or watch another video, you know, whatever you wanna do. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I've, uh, oh, good Lord, I cannot talk. I've enjoyed spending time with you and we're gonna do it again real soon. Y'all take care.